Hello and welcome back, I'm Lincoln. And today we're gonna to do some alphas and clean them up with a smooth brush. And you're gonna see here that these are nice and sharp and clean, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and delete this. We're gonna add a box. I'm gonna go and validate it, and then we're gonna come up here and run it up pretty high resolution. Keep the edges square and remesh it. So we're doing this just so we have a little better resolution to do our stamps on. Okay, now I'm going to come in here and clone this and bring this over. Now I'm doing this just so you can see what happens when you pull a stamp on here with this technique. Okay, these two we're going to voxel merge, keep edges sharp, and we'll knock it back down to 500. -ish. Okay. Now, with the stamp tool, it's the first thing I'll show you what to do here with this technique. So whenever you come in and you pull a stamp, I'll turn on symmetry. Normally, when you come in, it's gonna bleed over the edges like this. You know, see those edges bled all over off the face. Now, normally you could mask this off, but in a situation like this, if you're trying to get the stamp to go on the bigger block and the smaller block on one face, that's gonna be pretty complicated masking. So instead, what we're gonna do is come into the menu on the stamp menu, come into this right here, and it's usually gonna look like the stroke, like that. Click on this, go over to filter, and we're gonna do keep edges sharp, or keep sharp edges, and just run it up to 100%. Now the cool thing with this too, is we don't have to be on the face. We can be off direction, we don't have to be snapped. And we can pull this thing on here and we'll pull a couple just to it. And you can see that nothing went over the edge. Now, because of the second one, it gets a little crazy up here. But you can see what this does. It keeps everything on your face. So it's a really good technique. Now, the other thing that this works really well with, we'll pull another one like this. And we're going to go to the smooth tool. Now, normally, you know what's going to happen with a smooth tool. If we have this 100%, it's gonna just blow this thing out and we're gonna lose all our sharpness to our design. And this is just a standard alpha. It's just, it is literally just a black and white alpha. So, I mean, that's what it looks like right there. So it is literally just black and white. Now, even if we bring this all the way down to just a little bit, you, know, you can still, you can get rid of all that, all the little artifacts that are on there, most of it anyway, but you can still see some right in you know especially down here at the bottom but it's already starting to round our edges even at a low percentage so instead we're going to go back and we're going to grab the same thing in the same menu the filter keep edges sharp and when you do this you can see there's not really anything happening that's because even though this has keep sharp edges you still have to use your intensity with it in conjunction with it. So now we can knock this down and all of that artifact now is going to get all these menus out of the way. All of these artifacts are going to go away, yet we have a nice sharp edge. And there's still a little bit of movement and wave in there, but it's not much. And if you're this is something you're just going to print, it's not going to be noticeable. So if we come over here, just another quick example with a stamp, come in here and do some text. So you want to do text instead. So this is just a black and white text alpha. And you can see the same thing. A lot of artifacts in there. Now this is going to make a difference on how sharp a resolution you have on your alphas as well. You'll notice the A and the S are the, the curves have a little bit of jaggedness to it. But let's take a look and see what we can do. And that gets rid of most of it already right there. Now, if you want it better than that, I mean, you can go in and clean that up or bring in a different alpha, but that's that's kind of the kind of the gist of it. I hope these tips are helping you out. There's a lot of new things in all the last couple versions we've had of Nomad Sculpt, so you just have to kind of dig in the menus and find things. And this is something that will really help you out if you're trying to use alphas and smooth things out a little bit. All right. If you guys are liking these, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. All right, thanks.